Well, your urine is looking good and your blood pressure is fine. And I would just like to do a routine carbon monoxide test with part of my check today. Would that be okay? Sure. We have to do it with all our pregnant ladies now. Mm -hmm. It's a simple breath test using this machine, which lets us know how much carbon monoxide is circulating in your body. So what I'm going to do is ask from you in a sec as you take a deep breath. Hold your breath for 15 seconds. Then at 10, I'm going to pass you this machine and then I'll count you down. Okay? Mm -hmm. All right. Here we go. All right, take a breath in. That's 10. Wait for me to count before you blow. All right, five, four, three, two, one, blow out. Excellent, that's really good, Ellie, thank you. Thank you very much. You're a smoker, right? Yeah, but I have tried to give up, but it's not that easy. Mm, no, it isn't, is it? Especially when you feel you've had to give up so many other things. Exactly. I can't tell you what to do, obviously, it's up to you, but it's best to give up. Well, maybe you try cutting down a bit more. Okay. All right. Let's book your point for the next time. When do you think I'll start to feel the baby kick? How many weeks are you now? 19. Any time now. Mm. Oh, that's better. Do you want one? Yeah, go on then. It's supposed to be cutting down, but you know what it's like. You sure? Yeah, my mum smoked when she was having me, and I turned out OK. <laughs> Can I ask you, Ellie, is your baby active and moving as normal? Actually, a few days over the past week, I've noticed it's not moving so much. I've been a bit worried. Is everything okay? Is the baby okay? Well, from your measurements, Ellie, it looks like your baby's growth has slowed right down. Also, your carbon monoxide level is also high. Are you still smoking? Yeah. We'll have to send you for a scan immediately to check what's going on. What do you mean, check what's going on? Is everything gonna be all right? Let's hope so. Look, let's get the scan sorted, then we know what we're dealing with. Then the doctors can decide whether you need an early delivery or not. OK? And if I said the baby's not grown properly, I don't know. They're referring me for a scan. They said the baby might need to be delivered early. Oh, my God, this is my fault. They keep saying about smoking and carbon monoxide. This is all my You're a smoker, yes, Ellie? Yeah, but I've tried to cut down, but it's not that easy. Your reading's really high, and that's because you smoke. The thing is, cigarettes contain carbon monoxide, and as you probably know, it's a poisonous gas, which can be extremely harmful when you're pregnant. You see, it gets into the bloodstream, and then it reduces the amount of oxygen going to your baby via the placenta. So the longer you smoke in your pregnancy, the more damage that will be happening. But I have cut down. 
Well, that's really good to hear. But the only way to eliminate the harm and to reduce the risk to your baby is to stop altogether. The trouble with cutting down is that your brain gets so used to nicotine without you realising you're probably taking more drags on each cigarette you have, holding the smoke in your lungs longer and smoking closer to the filter. So the damage is still being done and your baby is still at risk. It could be born premature and at worst, we know that smoking can lead to a stillbirth, which is absolutely awful. Oh my God. We also know that children growing up in smoking households are more likely to end up being smokers themselves, which I'm sure you don't want any. The good news is, is if you quit now, it's likely to cause no damage to the growth of your baby. That's got to be a good reason to quit, yeah? And we'll help you. OK, I do want to try and quit. I thought by cutting down that would be OK, but I'd never forgive myself if something awful happened just because I couldn't kick the habit. That is really a good decision to make, Ellie. I'm going to refer you today to our Stop Smoking Specialist and I'll get hold of you soon, yeah? So, is there anything else? No, I don't think so. So we're gonna book in your next appointment and then we'll retest your carbon monoxide levels then, yes? Oh, that's better. Do you want one? No, I won't, thanks. The midwife told me I need to quit. I've been seeing a stop smoking nurse every week now. It's really helping. I've been ciggy free for four weeks. I've saved a fortune. Wow, well done you. <laughs> You'll have to give me the details. Your baby growth is looking really good, Ellie, just as it should be. Is it nice and active? Yeah, he's been giving me a right good kick in. I think I've got a star striker in there. <laughs> Your carbon monoxide level is so much better now you've given up smoking. Do you feel better? Yeah, miles better. Thanks. You should be really proud of yourself, Ellie. It's hard to give up smoking, and you've done brilliantly. Well done. I will see you in a couple of weeks. Is you all right? Yeah. I think she's off now, having a little moment. Here you go. You deserve it. Blimey, hot cup of tea. That makes a change. <laughs> Do you want one? Nah, you're right, thanks. Mm -hmm.